thanksgiving honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To the pastor of this church, Pastor Thompson. To the other ministers of the gospel. To the Simon Temple AME Church family and visiting friends. I stand here before you as a 10 year old child. I stand here before you as an uprising sixth grade student. But most of all, I stand here before you as a Christian. I stand here before you as a God-fearing young man. A young man who knows that with God all things are possible. A young man who knows that God is not dead, he's very much alive. A young man who knows that prayer changes things. A young man who knows that Jesus saves. A young man who knows that God is the way, the truth, and the light. A young man who loves God with all his heart and soul. I've seen it before you as a young minister has accepted his calling. I may be 10 years old, but I know. I didn't say I'm not sure. I did not say maybe. I did not say I I said, I know. I said, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt. I know I was created to be a spokesperson for God. In the Webster's Dictionary, the word spokesperson means a person who speaks for others. Well, God is using me to speak to you. I feel blessed to be here this morning to tell my peers not to focus on their age. Not to put off what they can and cannot do for God because of their age. Not to say I would, but I'm not big enough or I'm not old enough. I want you to know that God does not care how old you are. You can be one, two, three, four, five. He just wants the praise. Let me say that again. God does not care how old you are. He just wants the praise. But he said that if we the people do not praise him, he will cause the rocks to cry out. Isn't it so? The thing for today is even though I am young, send me. Adults are not the only ones who should praise God. Adults are not the only ones who should love God, respect God, worship God, adore God, obey God, and most of all, accept him as their personal savior for themselves. Everyone has to accept God as their personal savior for themselves because your mother can't get you into heaven. Your father can't get you into heaven. Only you can do that. If we study his living word in the book of Samuel, we will read about a young boy who accomplished the impossible. He had all kinds of things fighting against him. Number one, he was young. Number two, he had no experience in fighting battles. Number three, he had no, he didn't have time to practice his strategy. Number four, he didn't have a strong weapon. Number five, he had to fight someone 500 times his size. And number six, he had no earthly person who supported him. In other words, no one had his back. <laughs> At least here on earth. Do you know who I'm talking about? Yes, David. See, if you put the average young person up against all of these obstacles, they would run, they would flee. But not David. He was young and inexperienced, but he wasn't scared because he had, the, he had a secret weapon. He had the ultimate weapon. He had something that the giant didn't have. He had the almighty God on his side. You see, God had his back, and that's all he needed. I can see David saying to the people, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can hear him saying, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, I can hear 
David saying, God did not give me the spirit of fear, but he gave me the spirit of unspeakable joy, perfect peace, confidence, never fade in faith, love, and a sound mind. Can't you see him watching the giant destroy what God had made? Can't you hear God telling, can't you hear David telling God, God, though all your young sin me, when God did just what David asked him to do. And the results were glorious. I say to you today, if God used David back then, he can use you today if you let him. If you believe you can, you will achieve. Don't look at your battles and shake in terror. Instead, stand tall and let God fight your battles. For the battle is 